There he is. There are the fish, guys. That's on the jet diver side right there. Using that Bud's diver on your jet diver, it works, I'm telling you. Ooh, it feels like a good fish, folks. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. Coming at us, guys. It feels like a pretty heavy fish. Get this out of the way. Operating by myself here, so this is going to be a little bit of a fiasco. But using that, using that jet diver and then doubling up on that buds, what that enables you to do, I see guys down here all the time, they got that jet diver on a slide about three feet in front of their flasher, then they got a four to five foot leader. Well, you got seven or eight feet of line because you can't reel that diver through your eyelet. So they're trying to lean back, walk around to try to get that fish in. This is going to slide right down to our flasher. You'll see I'll do this by myself. Much, much easier. This is a big, big fish. See how hard he's pulling right here. But you, that, that Bud's Diver, the Bud's Diver will do multiple things for you. You can put the weight on it. We've got this side working over here with a Dipsy Diver on it. Back in the Midwest, Great Lakes, dip, Dipsy Diver is very popular. Out here in the West where I'm at, we're on the Columbia River, the Jet Diver is more popular. But you can utilize both those devices and you'll see. It, it'll, it'll put more fish in the boat for you for sure and make life a lot easier. Okay, we're straight down at 18 feet here, guys. Love these salmon, man. They pull so hard. Big old Chinook. That fish right there does not want to come up. Boy, he is strong, 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 guys. Strong, strong, strong. That fish has swam about 400 miles or so to get to this point, and he's still strong. It's amazing. Big beautiful salmon with the sun going down. Boy, this guy is something strong here, folks. Not even seen it yet. Ripped off about 185 feet of line. Had my cameraman help me get the other rod in because I was worried that we were gonna have a mess going right there. So we got the rod all or the net all set up there and hopefully we'll do this for you. When I let that one out and set it, I set that jet diver 21 feet ahead of my flasher. Without the Bud's diver, you couldn't do that. There's no possible way to do it. So I got that flasher away from that diver, which allows that flasher to make a free loop, gets the diver and everything away from your flasher and super bait, which makes a lot better presentation. You don't spook as many fish, you'll catch way more doing it this way. Oh, this fish is strong, strong, strong. Fish does not want to move. Them big dudes, they hold their heads straight down. We got 17 pound test, fluorocarbon. Normally what I run for my trolling stuff. Thinner profile, that thinner diameter line helps cut the water. Fluorocarbon's a little bit thinner, which helps you get your diver down to depth. We were down about 30 clicks, 30 feet on my counter from the surface, which at a 45 degree angle, same math I use for the diver with a weight on it, we're about 20 feet down, which is an optimal weight right now with the way the light's going down. Those fish start moving up out of these deep holes and cruising. Okay, we're getting down to negative here. I see a pretty big glow down there, guys. Um... Guys, I think what we're going to have to do here, okay, I'm going to show you the diver. This is a big fish. I mean, I'm talking an absolute donkey. Um, I'm going to have the cameraman help me net this. You can see, let me lift this out of the water. See the clear diver right there? This is a big fish, guys. This could be close to 40 pounds. 
See the diver right there? Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have my camera guy help me here. Go ahead, Randy. There you go, guys. Wait till you see the size of this fish out of the net, folks. This fish is going to be pushing 40 plus pounds right here. Let me uh, set the rod to the side. Like I said, I'm trying to do this by myself. So we kind of got a cluster. I'm going to release this big dog. It goes against my rule to keep a big fish like this. So let me get the hook out. Come over here, Randy. Look at this fish, guys. Look at the size of this thing. Little tiny hook right there. Look at that. Okay, right there. Let me get this cleared right here. You can see here, guys, look at, see how that released? 21 feet above. Slid that diver right down there perfectly. Okay, big dog. This is a certified catch and release net, guys. I am not gonna hurt this fish. I just wanna get a couple quick pictures here. This is the genetic gene pool that we wanna keep going. All right, guys, we're gonna real quickly bring this fish up in here. I will not kill a big fish like this. So let me get this big dude up here. Okay, guys, why don't you take a look at something? Tell me a jet diver and a super bait on a flasher won't catch you something like this. My God, I can't even get my hand around the steel, guys. Look at here. Oh, get off there. Guys, I don't know how big that fish is, but it's an absolute giant. Is that a beauty? Bud's diver, guys. With a jet diver, with a dipsy, with a weight, it doesn't matter. It will catch you bigger fish. Look at the size of this beast. Let's get her back in the water. Okay, guys. What I'm going to do here, this is a technique for, for releasing these big fish. So I'm turning the boat up the current here. The sun's going to be in our way for a second here, but I'll try to fix that here. Okay. I got him right underneath the chin. All I'm going to do is S-curve him here like this and get that current flowing back into his gills. You don't want to go fast. You don't want to drown him. All I'm doing is just working him back and forth. He's big and tired and he's beautiful, man. Look at that. That's just an absolute beautiful fish, guys. This is a fish right here I do not want to hurt. This is the genetic. This is what we want. That fish isn't going to taste good. I got measurements of him. Unfortunately, I don't have my scale with me. I can't find it. I've only got a 30 pounder and he bottomed it out. We're guessing he's got to be between, I'm going to say 44 pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood, 44, 45. Okay, Randy, shoot over the side right here. We're just S-curving him. He's pumping his gills really good. We want to take extra time with this fish right here, guys. See, he's kicking me. He's kicking me. I let him rest in the net for a while. That's a catch and release net, no knots, big wide basket on the bottom. So it's not going to hurt him. Ready, Bubba? Ready? There he goes. There he goes straight down, guys. That is awesome, man. Bud's diver with a jet diver with a dipsy with a weight. I don't care what it is. It's going to help you catch more fish just like that one right there. Big giant salmon. This is awesome. Let's go get another one.